Hi, welcome to the new walkthrough series dedicated to great movie companies and their audio logos. My name is Pavel Brezina and I will be your host and mentor. DreamWorks Audio Logo is one of the most musically transparent and easily memorable compositions of John Williams. Now we try to recreate this piece of music using Vienna Symphonic Library sounds. Recreation of original music score with virtual instruments is called mock-up. But even for this kind of work, we need to know how to read the real score of music piece. It will accompany us during the whole process and it contains all the information we need. We will work most of the time just like conductor of great symphony orchestra. Why great? Because if we will not be lazy, our orchestra will be playing just like we want. So let's begin with a little analysis of DreamWorks orchestral score to better understand what needs to be achieved. You can find this score on MuseScore Premium Forum and it consists of the very basic notation of DreamWorks logo. Consists of flute, clarinet, horn section, trumpet section, trombones, string, orchestra, nylon guitar, not steel, and the harps. For the creation of the template in Vienna Ensemble, we need to understand what is going on in the score flute and clarinet playing solo and some intervals, horn section standard for voicing for players, trumpet section only two voices, trombones two voices, violins playing standard long notes and in this section there is no basses. Nylon guitar standard melody, nothing special and harps we need to carefully listen what's going on. So for the template creation I choose for flute and clarinet ensembles not the solo instrument so it is much more colorful and using basic articulations for the piano and portato because these eight notes are not staccatos but portato sounding. Horn section consists of dimension horns for players and it's rooted to the dedicated aux where the next processing will be done. Uh, for the players there are forte piano and portato articulations along with sustain, you can see it here. For the trombones there are only two voices. I choose the doublings. First voice is player 1, player 2, only for the piano articulation is needed, voice 2, trumpet 3 and trumpet player 4. With trombones it is the very same, as we can see there are two voices. First voice trombone 1, 2, second voice trombone 3, 4. And here are for the piano and also portato articulations. For the string orchestra I'm always using dimension strings. First, second, violas into sections, cellos into sections. And for the much more color I always using orchestral strings as a doubling of the dimension. So first, second, viola section, cello section, dimension horns and dimension trumpets with trombones are, as I said, rooted to the auxes, horns, brasses. It is not the same with the strings, it is good as it is, nothing special is going to do there. Also other flute and clarinet are the rooted to the master fader. I choose the synchron stage for this piece of music because it is movie-like or soundtrack music so this is the very best 
for this purpose. If we go into the last two instruments, guitar, standard, articulation, only the legato, nothing special, and the harps. If I uh, listen to the piece, I hear two harps on the left side, harp one, on the right side, harp two. Specialty about this is that we are need to use bisbiliando and some glissandos for the half one based on what I hear. Half two playing only bisbiliando. For the strings, I used articulations very, very specific because the beginning of the piece is very, very hard to achieve because it's starting very slowly and going to perform some trills. Those trills are mostly in thirds interval, so there is something that is not present in a standard orchestra violas, for example, there's only trill in seconds, so I need to use the performance trills. And it needs to be done like this, the starting of the piece starting of the piece is forte piano using the crossfade cc from slot x using the crossfade to the performance trill same is with violin section 2 violas and the cellos playing only long notes very same for violins orchestra the doublings you can see these crossfades this is something you need to create the first and then you can try to achieve the sonic results. This is for the score and template creation. We will be talking about automation and uh, articulation in the next episode.